first to you. Let's talk about the pause. When we kind of see you open up and kind of be vulnerable, what allowed that uh, kind of vulnerableness with an Ashley that kind of lets you do that? Uh, uh, the safety feeling with Ashley. So um, day one meeting her, it was a feeling of safety. And I've said that multiple times that she made me feel safe that I've never felt before. You know, men usually give that safety net. Um, mm -hmm. She made me feel safe. So I opened up immediately and it felt comfortable, felt natural. That's cute. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Nick, th I feel like your journey in the pods was like a whirlwind of emotions, right? You know what I mean? It was, there was a moment where it mm -hmm. felt like you left a date with Hannah and it was over, right? Take me through what was going through your head in that moment. Honestly, um, it, it was a lot of emotions. I had a feeling that, you know, that date wasn't the last time I was going to talk to her. I, I kind of knew that, you know, I had a feeling that this isn't the last conversation we're going to have, you know, so I just took took some time to myself, thought about it, and um, let alone we ended up talking again. Did you, made you want to have that conversation again? Did you have that inkling that she was your person? I did. I did. Um, just like Ty, she made me, you know, feel safe. She brought out a side of me, um, you know, vulnerability and, and feelings that I've never expressed to, to friends or family. Um, I knew she was going to be the one. And so I'm glad that uh, she took some time and, you know, thought about, about it as well. My favorite moments in the show is obviously the reveals, right? What's kind of going through your head leading up to that reveal and meeting Ashley for the first time? My heart is sitting upside down, I'll be honest. Um, but I'd already accepted I did not care what Ashley looked like. It was more of nervousness if she would accept me the way that I've already accepted her. Um, and then seeing her, it was icing on top of the cake for me because I was like, wow, this beautiful person wrapped in this perfect personality. Um, yeah, it was just a perfect day for me, even though I probably seemed extremely nervous and my heart was racing. Yeah, Nick, same kind of question to you. When you get ready for that reveal and then the reveal happens, What's kind of the emotions that you're feeling on the inside that we don't see? We see all the external emotions, right? We see the conversations, we see that nervousness, but what's yeah. going through the insides? Yeah, no, you're right. You you honestly black out for a lot of it uh, because there's so many emotions that get put, poured into that, you know, 10 minutes. Um, it was relief, right? You know, I kind of took a deep breath. I'm like, okay, you know, she accepted me, you know, for who I am. And, and that was the biggest thing, like Ty said. And um, I was just relieved to, to finally put a face to the voice. The expectations that go from the pods to going to Mexico, going to home, what's, does that feel like it adds pressure to what is already a pressure cooker of a situation? Oh, absolutely. It's pressure on top of pressure. Um, you go from first seeing someone, then Cabo, you're hanging with them. So it's all these emotions changing to see how you interact. You don't really know. You know that you have a deep emotional connection, but how can it transfer into physical? Um, yeah. And it's definitely a lot of pressure. Uh, but again, with Ashley, it makes it, she makes it comfortable. So it, it's not as hard. In my mind, it was more pressure than what was actually happening. Final question, um, Nick, first to you, is love blind? I think yes and no. I think love is blind in the fact that you never know when you're going to find it and you never know when it's going to creep up on you. Nick, or Tyler, sorry. Yes, I, for me, I definitely think love is blind um, only because People have to get past your traumas, the deep part rooted, everything that's rooted. You have to express that. Um, and I think if you can do it without seeing someone and love them for who they are, you can then love them for anything else that comes yeah. with that.